We had some lofty goals when it came to redesigning the Badlands. This will be generation three, and we really wanted to go big. We knew that there were areas that we could address that were gonna take a significant amount of effort and energy, such as protection, um, such as ventilation, and we really wanted to attack those specific problems, working very closely with riders that we trust, that we work with in the field, with our own internal experiences. And there were things that had not yet been built that we knew we were gonna to have to go build with our partners. And that's what makes this third generation of the Badlands so special. It was really important to relook at our impact and abrasion package that we have in the Badlands. You know, the D3O project honestly started off as a question mark. Are we starting with the best building blocks? Just like we build everything, it's all about the ingredients. So when you look at protection, are you using the best ingredient for impact? And so what we did is we actually went out and spent a tremendous amount of money and bought every pad on the market. And then we went and used an independent lab, ACT Labs in California, and we did third party evaluation just for our eyes only. And this allowed us to prove to ourselves that if we wanted to have the most protection possible, D3O was still the right choice. Then it was a matter of deciding what does the customer need? What makes it a better experience? Ultimately, this is safety equipment you don't want to fill it when you're riding, but you need it when you need it. And ultimately, what we found made the biggest difference was keeping the customer cool. There's several studies that show, show and prove uh, that when your body temperature increases by up to even five degrees, every five degrees, you double the amount of mistakes that you make. On a motorcycle, you can make one or two mistakes, but once you start making more than that in a row, your chance for a catastrophic accident increase. The next thing was, when we look at our crash protection and we study each garment that comes in for years, the reality is now we can see like, where did they have the impact, what happened? And what we realized was, is even though we've had our D3O in the exact right spot, if we could increase the coverage, we can help our customer. So the size of this, these pads are 44% larger than what they've been in the past, but because they're ventilated, they're very weight neutral. So the benefits are fantastic because now all of a sudden it's joint specific. It's built for your left elbow, your right elbow. So you get the coverage that you need where you need it, but we're able to improve the ergonomics because we don't put the pad where it makes no sense. You know, the reason we use super fabric is really because of the, the coefficient of friction. When you go down, you need to be able to slide. The violence that happens when you have an impact is mitigated greatly if you're able to slide. And so by cutting down the coefficient of friction by these two-part epoxy dots that make up the super fabric, it's like nothing else we've tested. You know, to me, carbonite ripstop is innovation. It's, it's the old versus the new. It's lighter, stronger, faster. When you look at the tear tensile and abrasion, and yet your, the denier is much smaller, so the, small, the fiber is much smaller. 20% smaller in fact. However, we've improved the tear, we've improved the tensile, and the abrasion is still the same. And so it's a win all the way across the board. The reason that Climb partners with Gore-Tex is we continue to test everything in the market, and bar none, it's the best. When you look at breathability, when you look at durability and waterproofness combined, we can't find anything better, and we're constantly looking. The reason we partner with Gore-Tex is because they care about making sure that their customer stays dry, and in our sport, it's life or death. If you get wet and you're in a bad environment, you could get hypothermia. It's not what you wanna do. You have to stay dry, and so it's the right partner for us. In the Badlands, we use three-layer laminated Gore-Tex that has a pro-shell uh, membrane, or engine as Gore-Tex would call it. What that means is we're using the, the most durable product for the end sport and most breathable. So pro-shell is 20% more breathable than classic. 
and that means every square inch of this piece is more breathable than the normal Gore-Tex. And that just gives you the advantage that you need. You know, venting is something that we cannot compromise on, and the reason is we write. And what are you most apt to complain about? Being too hot. And the reality is you have to have well-engineered, well-designed vents, but you have to have waterproofness. So the challenge is making all that work together. On the arms alone, there's six vents. There's four intakes and two exits, but it's important that you have enough exit to allow the air to flow if we can keep the air organized and flow it properly, you get a much better cooling. So adventure riders encounter every possible weather element, terrain element, um, cultural element, everything that you can think of all across the world. And we wanted to accomplish with this piece, we wanted to swing the pendulum as far and wide as we could from hot and dry to cold and wet and to deliver the ultimate day in, day out usability of the garment. Honestly, I've been making product for 24 years, and to have something that I can legitimately say this is the most innovative product I've ever worked on, it kind of scares me a little bit. This thing is so hard to talk about because what inch do you talk about? Because there's so much going on. So innovation is really what drove this. To The benchmark had to be the best. And in my mind, we really pushed the envelope much beyond what we originally anticipated and I'm super excited about how this thing turned out. <laughs>